Please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tornadoes. This is CTN, a Clearwater Digital Media production. Today is Tuesday, November 29th. My name is Fabar the Malachi. And my name is Tyler Brown. Today we have your latest news and school announcements, plus a student survey, so stay tuned because CTN starts now. In your main news, law enforcement agencies in Columbus, Ohio, respond to an active shooter report at Ohio State University yesterday. The man who attacked nine people with a knife in a car was an 18-year-old Ohio State University student. Witness said the attacker had a crazy look in his eye. People on campus were urged to run, hide, fight. Officials identified the student as Abdul Razak Ali Artin. The man lived in the area and was using a car registered to a family member. The victims are on the road to recovery. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is investigating an overnight smash and grab burglary at the Tampa gun store. The burglars smashed out the front window to enter. Deputies have not said exactly how the burglars smashed through the entire front facade of the shop or what was stolen. An alarm was activated at the time of the break-in and officials say the shop has security cameras. Authorities in Pasco County said a woman threw a knife at her husband after he called her an inappropriate name on Thanksgiving Day. The sheriff's office said Herschel Millsap suffered an injury to his right chest and had to be taken to a local hospital. Millsaps originally told investigators that he fell on, his, on the knife, but his wife, 55-year-old Vicki Millsaps, later admitted that she threw the knife at the man. The argument stemmed from the way a, a turkey was cooked, according to an incident report released by the sheriff's office. Vicki Millsaps was charged with a domestic aggravated assault. Next year, if you don't like the way the turkey was cooked, please keep the knife to yourself. Now to Kyle with your sports news. I'm Kyle Courtney with your sports news. For anyone interested in participating in track and field this spring, there will be an informational meeting immediately after school on Thursday in Coach Carroll's room G1. We will be meeting every Tuesday and Thursday after school for conditioning until the semester break. The first home boys basketball game of the year is tomorrow versus Osceola High. JV start time is 6.15 p.m. followed by varsity at 7.15 p.m. Coach Foote wants to see everybody at the game wearing white. Free white game day t-shirts will be given to the first 10 students at the game. Tonight our girls and boys soccer teams will host the Seminole Warhawks. The girls game begins at 6 o'clock and admission is $4. Our Lady Tornado basketball teams travel to Dixie Holland to take on the Rebels. Game time is 6.15 p.m. and admission is $4. Now back to Fabartha and Tyler with your school news. Thanks, Kyle. In your school news, any senior that has not paid their senior fees should see Mrs. Biddle. Senior fees are currently $85 through Wednesday, December 14th. After January 1st, fees will be increased to $100. Mr. Snover has begun sponsoring a Model UN Club. The first meeting will be Thursday, Dece Wednesday, December 7th. Any Hispanic students who are interested in winning a classical guitar, please write a 200-word essay about what class classical music means to you and how a classical guitar would help you pursue your interest. Submissions are due by December 7th by the end of the school day in room PA2. The winner will be announced in early December. If any students or teachers would like to have an announcement made on our show, 
please email Mr. Gordon at gordonw at pcsb.org. If you are a student, please have your club sponsor or coach send the email. Now to Jonathan with your student survey. Hi, I'm Jonathan Edward with your student survey. CTN reporters went to many classrooms this week to ask students the infamous question, Coke or Pepsi? In the survey, 66% of students said that they preferred Coke, while 34% said they would choose Pepsi. It seems like all the advertising Coke puts out has been working extremely well. However, the school mandates that I tell you to watch your calories when drinking soda. So yeah, now back to Tyler and for Bartha. Thanks, Jonathan. Like us on Facebook at Clearwater Digital Media Productions for a look back at some of this year's broadcasts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by searching CDNP Digital TV and tune in to our daily live stream or watch our old shows in, in our playlist. Check out the CDNP Clearlight running all day for new announcements. Thank you for watching CTN. Have a great Tornado Day.